Hello my loves, how are you today? I'm back again with another video. This time I wanted to um I wanted to show you it's kind of like a review slash demo on a new foundation. As you know, I'm always on the hunt for a new foundation. And um I heard a few things about this uh Rebel Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I have oily skin or combination skin, uh, mostly on my T-zone, so I'm always on the hunt for a good foundation that keeps me matte. So um, I heard a few things about this one, and it took me a little while to find it since I live in Hawaii, everything comes later here. Um, so this is the new formula. It's supposed to have, um, or actually it has SPF 15, which is great. I need that for, you know, living in the hot weather. So, and it's supposed to be um, 24 hour wear. So what I want to do today is I want to put that on. I want to see how it looks. Hopefully I got my right shade. Uh, I got the number 370 um, and we'll see. I want to see if um, this is the right match. If not, then well, we're gonna have to go with it anyway. And I wanna see how it looks, how does it feel. I wanna give you my first impressions, obviously on camera. And I'm gonna wear it. So today it's early in the morning. It's 11.15. So I'm just gonna put that on and I'm gonna leave it for a good five hours. I know, I know it says that it's good for 24 hours, but realistically nobody wears foundation for 24 hours so i'll be happy if this foundation doesn't start like breaking up or you know like kind of like pulling or you know showing the oils through if it lasts five hours so i'm gonna come back after and i'm gonna see how it looks after five hours of being on my face with no touch-ups or anything okay so well let's go ahead and try it I'm gonna do half of my face with the beauty blender with this and then the other half I'm gonna use it with a brush to see how it looks um, you know it's it has a pump so ooh, it's kind of running so this is how it looks hopefully you can see it, it, it runs through my finger um, it's supposed to be a uh, medium to uh, full coverage and I have nothing on my skin besides moisturizer that's all I have so the reason why I didn't put a primer on it's because I don't want to alter the formula of the foundation so I just want to you know make sure all the things that the foundation claims are true without having any primer on the bottom so I'm gonna zoom you in Hopefully you get to see. Okay, so this is gonna be the side with the beauty blender. Um, it feels very lightweight, so it doesn't feel heavy at all as far as right now. And no, it's supposed to be for oil control, but it seems to be a little, a little shiny. Hopefully you can appreciate it on the camera. Um, so this side doesn't have any foundation. This side already has foundation. Definitely looks more sheer with the um, beauty blender. I wonder if um, you can build the coverage, which I'm going to try to do. I'm going to put one more pump right here and I'm going to add it up because I definitely want the full coverage. So I know it says it's not, but 
Yeah. Maybe it's buildable. Excuse my phone, I'm sorry. Well, once I put more foundation, it definitely looks more um, like it's covering more. And the shade, it looks right though. It looks like a, a good match. Mm -hmm. So here is half of the foundation on my face with the Beauty Blender, which is inside, right here. And here's the other side with no foundation. Mm -hmm. I hope you can appreciate that right there. Sorry, I'm looking at my viewfinder over here just to make sure I'm on focus. Hmm. Well, so far I like it. It looks good. Now I'm going to apply it on the other side. And you can see right here my blemish. <laughs> so we're going to try to cover that and see how it goes. And I'm gonna put more because I like I said I want I want more um, coverage. And then I'm gonna go with this um, tart brush that I bought. So it's like a flat dense brush. It's a tool fiber and it's meant to be for foundation. feels good on the skin, it's very lightweight, feels hydrating though. I honestly think that it gave me better coverage when I used it with the brush. So if you are looking for more coverage definitely on the brush is the way to go it looks more nice and flat it doesn't look too cakey and well the application is done all over my face now as you can see um i don't know if you can appreciate that but this is the side with the brush And this side is with the Beauty Blender. So I'm just going to go over with the brush because I feel like the Beauty Blender, um, it definitely sheared it out because it's damped. So. But the coverage looks good. I mean, I like it. Um, feels a little sticky, but it's just like right now. So... I'm going to wait a couple of seconds, a couple minutes, just to let it sink in and see how it dries. And then I'm going to go ahead and set it. Okay, it's been like a minute or so, and I definitely feel like it's a little sticky. You know, it's not drying um, as much as I wish it could. Uh, I don't know if it's because it has SPF or what exactly the reason is, but I'm just going to set it up. Now I'm going to use my um, little RCMA um, translucent powder, like no color powder, because I don't want to alter the color of the foundation. But I definitely want to set it because, you know, I get greasy during the day, so I have to set my foundation. <laughs> I'm just going to use this Real Techniques, um, you know, powder brush with it, and I'm going to just place it all over. Once I place the powder, it feels good though. It doesn't feel heavy, but um, it's, I mean, it's too soon to say something. So, as far as the application goes, it goes well. 
the brush. I definitely like the brush better. And it looks nice and matte. Mm -hmm. Well, this is how it looks. Definitely is a little bit of a darky, darker shade, maybe. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I just go ahead to set my tea soon because maybe that's what I get. Super oily. All right, then um, I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and I will see you in a little bit, okay? Okay, my loves, I finished my makeup off camera. Um, this is how it looks. And you know what? The foundation is looking really good. Um, it's been what, like 45 minutes? It's 12. Um, and I really, really like the way it's looking. I mean, it looks very, very nice and natural. Um, it has good coverage. So um, we'll see. I'm going to update you later on today um, and see how it looks. But I just wanted to mention quickly these two um, NYX uh, lingerie, uh, lingerie uh, liquid lipsticks. I never tried them before. I've been on the search for them in a long time. And always that I go look for them either at Target or um, Walgreens, they are always out. So I was lucky and I found two shades, which it happens to be the two shades that I really, really wanted to try. Um, I was uh, looking for a nice brown um, lipstick and I found this one. So I don't know, I'm just going to try something more natural for today because obviously it's the middle of the day. So I just don't want to go to bold on the lips. But I'm going to try this is on the shade. What shade is this? forgot what shade I bought. Oh, Push Up. And I also got the one that it's called uh, Bedtime Flirt. Uh, this is definitely just no. It's not gonna even show up on my lips. It's kind of like the color of my skin. So, uh, It's really pretty though. Hello my loves again. I'm back. So it's been five hours already. Um, I know. So the time right now is 4.51. And I have pretty good news. I mean, foundation has lasted very well. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Okay, as you can tell, I am sweating right here. It's so so it, it does um, holds up pretty well. So I am overall very happy with this one. Day. pensando que es demasiado pero en realidad no lo es aquí pues me estoy tardando obviamente un poquito más porque estoy explicando lo que es que me pongo y todo eso pero en realidad es un maquillaje que dura bastante um...